Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is the Elemental Maker, and today we're going to be putting together the electronics enclosure for a GO704 milling machine that we're converting over to CNC. All in. Tight like tiger. Pretty even looking. Not too bad. Now I got to put in the uh, little thing for the emergency stops. I forget what type of connector that's called. And then uh, put the e-stop somewhere up here. A lot of room there. Wanted to have the e-stop above the uh, outputs. Because you know, if you go to reach for the out or uh, reach for the e stop and your output wires are in front of it, you know, you could potentially hit them or you might not be able to hit the e stop in a, in a true emergency. So, just got these screwed in. Pretty darn good fit. And uh, I cut this little piece out here, which was a bit useless. So that'll be a nice fit. Limit switch goes here. E stop somewhere up here. And then towards the back of the computer, I'm going to put in the uh, power input, the, uh, which I'm going to line off to the power supply, the 5 volt supply for the uh, C10 breakout board. I'm also going to put in a little 12 volt power supply just to uh, have some computer fans running in here, keep it nice and cool. So here we got the uh, E stop switch. I was a bit concerned drilling the hole for this one in the Lexan because this is about 7 8 inch. Um, all I had of that size was an auger bit, but uh, Lexan is in fact some pretty tough stuff. Didn't crack, didn't shatter. Definitely glad I went with Lexan over acrylic. That was a really good choice. Just testing the fit here. Feels great if I don't drop too much. So at this point, the uh, front face plate is about done. Gonna route everything through it. Um, got all the connectors soldered up. So these are the aircraft connectors with some shielded uh, four conductor cable. I went with, I think it is 18 gauge. Let me take a look here. All right, so there's my uh, face plate. And these holes should line up pretty nicely. So we'll put some uh, screws through there. 
some mounting hardware on the back just to get everything in place and make sure it's all a good fit but so far it's looking pretty good Alright, so at this point I have the uh, aviation connectors hooked up to each driver. Um, so we have our X, our Y, and our Z all hooked up. And then I also wired in the E stop. So, real simple, it just goes to pins 10 and pins 5. And a normally, you want to use the normally open contact on your. Uh, E stop. Most of them come with both a normally open and a normally closed. Uh, you can take out the normally closed, I just left it on there. But, uh, so if you were to hit that, the 5 volts would complete the circuit, uh, enabling a reset situation. There we go. Pretty nifty. So my only concern at this point is these cables. Um, I have heat shrink over them and I didn't experience any kind of noise interference when I ran them on the open table um, but that is my one concern so I might maybe add some sort of shielding over them or you know potentially just switch them over to the uh, stepper cable um, so the 18 gauge and uh, just use that because that's already shielded and it's pretty easy to work with but um, given that I already have these all cut to length and all that, if I run into any issues with noise on those, I'll probably just run some shielding over them. So next step is going to be putting in the power supplies. So I just got the uh, two power supplies together, the uh, smaller ones. I put them in this little acrylic sort of box thing I just put together with some hot glue. So this is the 12 volt power supply to power the fans. And this is the 5 volt power supply that goes to the uh, C10 breakout board. So I'm just going to put that in and hook everything up there. Using some Velcro to secure the power supplies down. Just in case, you know, modifications need to be made later down the road. Those are nice and secure. So, we got the... Uh, two power supplies in there now and the main one and they all run off the uh, common power switch so now all that's left to do is put the uh, power supply in here and we're good to go so here we have the piece of Lexan that I cut out for the uh, power supply mount I think I'm gonna mount it over on this side since probably like right in here um, since if I bump it all the way over there I couldn't occupy this full space because the other piece of Lexan is kind of in the way um, I could have taken it out and cut a little notch out of it, but that would have involved removing everything. So that's something to know if I ever do this again, which I don't plan on doing, but maybe I'll uh, build a CNC lathe down the road. So I got these three drilled out, and I just drilled a little hole in the uh, plate here. Mark that, and drill the final hole. So we got it all uh, finished up here. You can see I have the... Uh, 5 volt power supply mounted here, the 12 volt right below that just in a little acrylic box. We have our X, our Y, our Z axis right here. A uh, temporary placeholder for A, um, assuming that sometime down the line I'll probably add a fourth axis. Don't quite know where I'll mount that driver, probably up top, but uh, there you go. Pretty clean looking machine, I'm pretty happy with the results here. Got a big fan here. Um, it actually might be a little too powerful. It's obscenely loud. It draws a uh, 0.7 amps. But uh, let's fire up. You can hear it. You can see it. That's the machine running. So see my reflection there in the polycarbonate. But. Uh, so, that is what you have to do to make a nice enclosure for a GO704 milling machine.
pretty happy with the results. I think it came out nice. We'll uh, see how it works. Um, hopefully there's no sources of interference. I might still have to ground out these wires. They're not grounded. The whole chassis is grounded. And uh, with the case side on, it's not quite as loud. But, uh, it's got really good airflow. So basically the air is coming over here, coming in here. Um, hopefully kind of taking some heat away from the uh, drivers there. And then it actually vents out the front and bottom which isn't optimal with how I have this power supply set up. This is actually exhausting back here. So I am a bit concerned about it sucking back hot air from the large power supply and pushing it back through. But I think with the amount of air this small fan moves, it's really not gonna be a problem. I don't think there's gonna be enough heat soaked to really create any kind of heat buildup that, that wouldn't otherwise be negligible. It's a pretty darn powerful little fan. So I think there's still one wire there I have to clip. Yeah, the, uh, I guess that's the control wire for the fan. So I need to clip that. But otherwise, she's fully up and running. And is uh, quite a loud machine. Really makes some noise. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it'll really serve its purpose very well. Here we are up and running. Got Mach 3 running on the computer. Turn the system on. And we just have a uh, quickly wired up motor here uh, plugged into the Y axis. So hit the reset. There we go. We'll pop that into the Z. And plug that into the X. So we're all up and running. Everything went perfectly. All right, so we're all finished up here. Thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, rate, and subscribe to see my next video where we take the G0704 milling machine and add the ball screws and all the hardware needed to convert it over to CNC. Might end up being a two-part series, maybe even three. But uh, that's going to be a really fun project, so please subscribe and join me in that one.